All right, we are in Firelink. We're going to go to Moonlight Butterfly next so I can get the Divine Ember so we can work on getting an occult club. Wait, isn't there an occult club? Isn't that a thing somewhere? I just I just remembered. Uh, anyways, let me get some faith. No, we're not going to worry about it. Actually, we can get some faith because we're going to be going divine in a minute. Dude, I totally forgot that there actually is an occult club until, like, I said those words, occult club. <laughs> Inside the Mimic in Anne Orlando. Yeah, then why are we even bothering? <laughs> Let's just go get that. What am I doing this for? What's wrong with me? What is that one at? Is that plus? Is that max level? Max level club? Very convenient we rolled a cult then. But yeah, I totally forgot about that. I guess we'll just go to Sens. Right, it's probably not a bad idea to get plus five before Iron Golem though, so. Daggers are their best in DS2. DS3 daggers are really good too. Yeah, I used the Bandit's Knife for a run. I thought that was pretty good. It was like one of the fastest de or, uh, DS3 runs I'd had. I think it was the fastest until Vort's Great Hammer bopped it. Cult upgrades require Divine plus five weapon and to hand in the Dark Ember. But if you already have the, um... Man, I just wasted so much time <laughs> in the Great Hollow. Probably downgrades to Divine. Divine plus five. Is it at plus five, though? The uh, Cult Club? Oh my god. Really? I didn't make that. This run is just, like, so not good already. Can I just restart this run? Like, honestly. <laughs> honestly, it wasn't it wasn't a bad idea to go to the Great Hollow because I still got the white chunks, but yeah, I absolutely do not need the red or blue chunks. Also, I wish I had the Lloyd Talismans. Should have picked those up. Do I have enough health to tank this boulder? I guess we'll see. Yeah, I do. Nice. Could dual wield clubs? I could. Is it really, like, beneficial to you, though? The only problem with that is I gotta get a lot of white chunks. I'm gonna do that. You know what? At this point, maybe we'll just do that, because, like, I already have this at plus five. I'd go do Moonlight Butterfly. Yeah, I never really dual wield outside of Dark Souls 2 and Elden Ring. I find it funny that they give you an occult weapon right before ONS or a week to occult, but it's the club. <laughs> I don't know, the club's not that bad. Dual wielding gold traces in New Game Plus. Can you only get one of those per playthrough? Did you have to like go to or get through Artorias to get the second one? What? Why did that guy run away? I've never seen him do that. I mean, it helps. It's convenient. Over here, buddy. Come on. Away from the fire. There we go. Where is the the club wielding mimic? Is that in the cathedral? Club wielding. He's not wielding a club, but you know what I mean. Where, where's the one that drops it? Like in there somewhere? Because I don't think it's this one. I think this one's the lightning spear. Where you get Havel's gear? Okay. I still can't believe I forgot about that. What other elemental weapons are... Like, what other weapons like that are there in this? There's a lightning spear... Crystal Halberd. Is that it? Is there anything else? Is there like a fire weapon? Yeah, I don't think there's too much. I think that's all? Oh, okay. Vitality, Endurance. Faith. That's a build. Yeah, in Demon Souls, I think when you pick... I, I want to say it's like Bandit or something, or Barbarian. You start with two clubs, for whatever reason. Wasn't sure it was allowed. Well, I'd also roll the infusion randomly. There's no guarantee that the halberd will be crystal. I just happened to roll a cult for the club, I think. <laughs> Maybe I should have checked that. I'm pretty sure I did, though. Maybe four is supposed to be divine. I honestly might check. Well, hey. 
We'll have two clubs, right? All right, you need to stop. Get out of my way. Actually request a weapon. No, I get what you're saying, but I would have, like, there wouldn't be an option, basically. It's just the halberd on the on the list. Or you mean just the halberd? Stagger if you miss mechanic with clubs. Yep, and halberds. And probably other stuff, too. Is he right behind me? Kind of. I keep forgetting, why do I have Grass Crest Shield not out? What the hell? This whole time. I equipped it and then I just never actually had it out. I wonder if I accidentally put it away and just never realized it. But yeah, for some reason I didn't roll a cult on the club. At least we have a backup. <laughs> How do you parry in this game? It's not very much damage. What's Great Turtle Shell's grandfather? Oh, the uh, shield. All right. The Cult Club coming at you. You stay out there. Yeah, I should have grabbed the Lloyd Talismans, but this wasn't even, like, on my radar. Like, I wasn't planning on doing this. Wake up, Mimic! Oh, you're pretty tanky. Goofy little laugh. So how much more damage we get with this? Uh, quite a bit. Quite a bit. I mean, it's essentially a plus 10 club. From plus 5 to plus 10. I'm gonna rest. Get that health back. Let me beat you with my club for your club. Yes. A trade. One from which you do not benefit at all. Actually, I could upgrade this to... Plus... Two. Ooh, because I'm pretty sure I don't need the Dark Ember. Is that what it's called? If I'm already at a cult, plus zero, I, I'm, I think I could just upgrade it. One, two. And I think I need five more white chunks. And I just, I cannot remember where you get five white chunks. Like, I know there's a bunch in the Tomb of the Giants, but I don't think I can think of five in Tomb of the Giants. Could be four, but either way, I can't, I don't think I could think of four either. We're just gonna be like running through there and praying we find some stuff. I know where the slab is, and then we could just kill Black Knights or the, the Black Knight that drops it, which I don't remember which one drops it. Great sword guy, maybe. ONS won't know what hit him. It's a club. Okay, Ornstein, what are you doing? This guy. I have uh, no poise. Wolfring might have been a good idea. Aye! Wait, really? I thought the Lightning Spear was like well past me, but I guess not. This guy is janky dash. I hate it so much. Rather have janky or unseen dash that obscenely buggy god skin noble roll. For me, I think it depends on my mood. <laughs> depends on the fight. Oh. It's fine. It's less fine. Yeah, I knew he was doing it, but uh, I couldn't even really see him behind the the hammer. So I know when to roll. This damage is not great for a essentially plus 12. Did I just put twin humanities on? Why did I do that? It 
Is he dashing? I think he's dashing, but I don't see... Oh, there he is! Jesus. Coming in hot. Oh, Smo's still swinging, apparently. Not humanity! Not what I meant to do. That was a waste. Is it early? Jesus Christ, this game is so much slower than I remember. Too much Elden Ring? For real. They might have delayed attacks, but at least they're fast. Oops. Accidental roll there. Uh-oh. That's gonna hurt. Oh, never mind. He gets stuck in the pillar. I thought he was gonna, like, sneak around it somehow. That's nah, gonna kill me. I can't move. Okay, no, we're fine. I just expect to die on that that stab, and then like when he lifts you up in the air, because if you don't have poise, like usually you just get true comboed. I'm kind of surprised it didn't happen there. This is a horrible spot to be. I don't know why I'm still here. I am going to get speared and killed. Okay, we're alive still. Uh-oh. All good. Saved. Nope. <laughs> Immediately starts charging. 222. I don't think that slam would kill me, but I also would prefer to not get hit by it. What happened to the 222? 120? 135, Jesus. Get his hand? Is his hand weaker? Don't know if different parts of him have different resistances. Can't say I know either. Maybe it's like a running attack or something. And a counter attack, I don't know. I like how he just like spins around in the air. I can't see if you're that close to him. Very cute Smo, just die. Oh my god. Uh oh. There we go. Soul of Smoke. What next? Team of the Giants, get some white chunks.
whatever Black Knight is down there, that's the one that in the kiln would drop white chunks. 20. Took you long enough? Did you see that damage? It was awful. <laughs> it's terrible. Lord Vessel. I definitely had worse damage for ONS, though. All right, let's go put this thing down. Well, I only have two other bonfires to warp to. Three other, I guess. Yeah, three, whatever. Is that normal? Um, I'm gonna teleport with Framed. I don't know if I'm gonna want to break any of this stuff. I need to I need to break some of these actually into green chunks if we're gonna do two clubs. So I can't be a sorry fool yet. Back to Firelink. Still gotta do Moonlight Butterfly 2. Okay, blue tight night chunk. And red tight night. Oh, well, I guess I gotta do both of these, so do this. And that. Left hand only plus zero Sastis S on one run. Oof. It'd be rough. Actually, we can just go this way. Sastis is rough. Plus zero Sastis is probably like just pure pain. I'm sure it'll be fine. I like your confidence. Yeah, I'm not too worried about Moonlight Butterfly right now. We'll uh get to that later. We're gonna look for some white chunks. So actually, the catacombs black knight, does he have a white chunk? So that could be worth doing. I'm guessing it's the axe guy. I'm trying to think of the best way down to that dude. Cause then you have you have the guy in the catacombs and then the one in Tomb of the Giants. I'm sure both of them give white chunks. All axe wielding black knights? Okay. I just didn't know if they had if they had the axe or not. I think the halberd guy is a blue chunk, then the great sword guy is a red chunk. I go too far, where's the turn? I think I went too far. It's down here, and then I think you fall through this room. I gotta fight these dudes, though. Oh, okay, now we're down here. I'm gonna die to fall damage, probably. Or, or, or that. Okay, so this is gonna be a problem, because I gotta find the Necromancer for these guys, because I don't want to deal with two skeletons while I'm fighting this Black Knight. I just don't know where the Necromancer is. I have no clue. Maybe we should get the Catacombs bonfire. Hmm. I'm trying to think of where he would be. Maybe I could lure them down to the bottom or something and then somehow just go fight the Black Knight. I don't know. I don't know what the best way to do this is. Oh, I actually hit him. I thought that was going to whiff. So we got two Black Knights for two white chunks and then I need another three. And I'm assuming I could probably find three in the two of the giants just as random pickups. Alternatively, we could break the slab and then in New Game Plus go get the rush the slab or just not even worry about the slab. Actually, I need two slabs, though, because I'm going to get two of these. I don't know. Uh, we want to go this way. The Necromancer has to be close to these guys somewhere. Just waiting for like the sound of one shooting me, but it's not happening. Oh, they're coming up here. This could work, too. I just bring them in here. I wonder if a DSC remake's in the works. I think to actually, like, please people, a DSC remake would have to be, like, very different. Where is this guy? Like, I like DS2, but I know it's not for everyone, you know? Uh, this is gonna be a problem. Where's the... Where's the Black Knight? What the hell is this? Where is he? Is he down here? Oh, bone wheel hell. I, I don't see him. Where'd he go? Did he die somehow? There's no way. What would he have died to? Not sure what to think of DS2 only played part one of so part of one so far. I think it really depends on what you want out of it. If you're looking for good gameplay, you'll probably be disappointed. Like if you're like, you know, polished gameplay of like the later games. You'll probably be disappointed because DS2 is slow, but DS2 has the best build diversity out of any of the games and in impeccable fashion. All right, if he's not here, I'm just going to not even worry about this. There he is. What, what? Where did you go, buddy? He does not have a lot of health. I just need like one parry, maybe. OK, well, this is not good. I am dead. I don't know what to do with these skeletons. I have no idea. 
I just had an idea, but I'm not doing it. I could go make the other club a divine club, kill the skeletons, and then come back and fight this guy. We're going to do pinwheel now, though. It's going to be like a 10 hour run at this rate. It's so slow, man. So slow. PS2 has fun world design, even if nonsensical, and the leveling is more fun because you get way more souls. Yeah, I love the atmosphere DS2. I think it uh, is very, very cool. The level design in some levels is, I would say, not great. The DLC is very good, but like the base game level design is not that amazing. Yeah, you can level up way more in DS2. I'm usually like 200 by the time I'm done with the run. I hit 200 probably more easily in DS2 than I do in D on uh, Elden Ring. Yep, and power stancing. And power stancing is actually like better in DS2 than it is in Elden Ring. I might actually get a lantern for this part. So I gotta find these chunks. And I, don't, I don't know where any of the chunks are. I can think of maybe like one. Or actually, you know what? I think I can think of two. But I would like to be able to see where I'm going. Certainly better than DS3, the power stancing. Yeah, DS3 just kind of pairs weapons, which is cool, but it's not the same. DS2 tried the new, new things. That's what I appreciate about it. Not everything worked, but took risks. All right, Skull Lantern. Let there be light. Ray is not even here because I haven't done Capra Demon, nor do I plan on doing Capra Demon. All right, let's get out of here. I don't. Is there a? I don't think there's a chunk this way. Hope not. Hope I rested at that bonfire. OK, good. <laughs> I was just thinking, I'm like, wait a minute. Did I rest here? I did. OK, so I think there are two. There are two white chunks in this direction, plus the Black Knight. Personally, I prefer DS2 to DS3. I do, too, honestly. Like, I love DS3's gameplay, and I think it's better than DS2's, but oh, hey, there's the Black Knight. Jesus. Chill, dude. I need to get to, like, somewhere where there's not a thing or not a bunch of things that are trying to kill me. I drop down here. Where's that bonfire, by the way? Is it here? Around the corner? I think the Black Knight's still chasing me. Nope, that's just a regular skelly man's. And the Black Knight! I'm dead. All three of the pros and cons? Yeah, for sure. Found the Black Knight. He found me. Yeah, the annoying thing is there's like 20 other enemies here, along with the Black Knight. And then I also can't even see. I want to parry this guy. Because where is he? <laughs> is he over here? I think there's a white chunk this way. Oh, there he is. No, oh, I'm dead again. Why was he so far forward before? Oh, he died. Black Knight Hal- Wait, he drops a hal- He drops a halberd. I thought he had an axe. Well, that was easy. Yeah, I, I'm kind of surprised I got a white chunk too. Well, I, you know, I'm more surprised he has a halberd. Because I thought all the axe-wielding ones dropped white. I thought all the halberd ones dropped blue. Dude, what is wrong with me? <laughs> what is happening on this run? Verified accounts only can be turned off because he has problems with Twitch verification. He can't chat. Oh, my God. Whoops. <laughs> I wasn't saying, oh, my God, did that. Um, I can I can look into it. I, I'll look into it after the stream. Like, I'm, I'm not going for much longer, but um, why don't I just keep randomly backstepping? But yeah, I'll I'll uh, I'll take a look at that after the stream. Here, how many times have I just died in like the last two minutes? Like six. That kind of run, man. Been that kind of run. I don't even know know at this point where I'm trying to get to. This way. I think there's a white chunk out here, right? Am I crazy? I might be crazy. I am crazy. Uh oh. Yeah. Uh, I'm just gonna do this. I can think of one more white chunk, and then after that, I probably need to look at the wiki. Only have one, and I still need four more. Gamer skills based on your gamer mood at that moment. 
Yeah, there's a crevice up ahead. That's the one I'm thinking of, but I don't know if there are any more. There's probably one, like, before Nido. Speaking of... Oh my... A witch? I, I absolutely don't want to do that fight now. Hmm... It's gotta be down here. This. Okay, if there's one before Nido, then I think I... As long as I do that other Black Knight, then we're good. I didn't put the Lord... No, I did put the Lord Vessel down. We're fine. White titty chunk. Oh, what about the lizards? I did not think of the lizards. Surely I'll get a white chunk here. I mean, it was white. It wasn't a white chunk, though. <laughs> it's funny that whenever I don't need one and I kill that thing, I'll always get a white titanite chunk here. Nope. Okay, where is this chunk? Ow. Arrow in my foot. That's impressive. Soul of a hero. Yeah, I got the ones in the Great Hollow already. So I just need the one here, wherever it is. Oh, right there. Not to get toxic by the skeleton babies. I gotta get the chunk, which is here. I don't even want to try Nita right now. I have three flasks. It's not gonna be a fun time. So I have three and I need two more? I think I need two more. Let's go... I don't know where I want to go. Let's go upgrade. Shall the ring had homeward bones. Yeah, it has the pure blood knights medal, which is like the closest thing. But you have to go to Mogwood and Palace before you can actually go where you want. It's the only downside to it. Maybe we should go kill Moonlight Butterfly for the Divine Ember. Can worry about the white chunks tomorrow. What is this? Plus three. Yeah, pretty decent. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna be very good versus Moonlight Butterfly though. A lot of magic damage on this thing. It'll be fine, but... Dark Ember? Yeah. For sure. Well, you know what? Hmm. I don't know, maybe I shouldn't do this now. Maybe I should wait and do all that in New Game Plus and just use one club until I get to the Painted World. I might do that instead. Also, I should have bought the thing here. Man, there's still so much to do. This run is going so slow. So I've just been playing so poorly. Let's do this. I probably have something I can pop. We'll do Sif instead. I think I'll save Moonlight Butterfly and the, like the Divine upgrade, the Occult upgrade until New Game Plus. We'll work back here. I will pop something. Iron Golem. Iron Golem plus Quaylegs enough for this. Uh, purchase maybe this. Stop talking. I need to warp away. Wolf ring first. Let me do this, actually. I don't think I'll need, really need the wolf ring for too much, but I think it could definitely be helpful in some situations. Yeah, I don't think Andre really cares if you go hollow. I just think he wants money. What good am I to him if I'm dead or hollow? Wolf ring. All right, we'll go this way, I guess. Save a homeward bone. So when do you find the Elden Ring? Make sure to save a ring slot for that. <laughs> there is an old ring, isn't there, in this game? It's probably like old something ring, I imagine. Old witch ring. That was the hint. The hint that we were getting Elden Ring. I also love that FromSoft made Eternal Ring once upon a time. I just think it's kind of funny that they have a game called Eternal Ring and they have a game called Elden Ring and they're nothing alike. Hey, Dr. Murder, what's up, man? Club indeed. Old witch ring is the what do you call the ring you gave your first girlfriend? Ow. Sif, please. Okay, heal. Stuck on these stones. Bricks, giant bricks, whatever they are. Okay, are we just gonna... Okay, thank you for doing something. That doesn't help. You gotta come back to me, Siv.
to have a very long stare down. It's not even a fight. Wants to play Chase, and he's winning. Ow. Immediately hit for the damage I healed. Nice. Sayflex play because of fur is literally just a bunch of flat textures laying on top of each other in an attempt to make it look fuzzy. <laughs> I just wondered why Sayf is so blurry. Uh oh. That's gonna hurt. Dude. Come on. Stop going up there. All right, we're out of here. Go next. Good level up. Faith. And maybe some more endurance. And maybe go Seath. Fun fact, early 3D renders for fuzzy or furry characters were so hard to do that they used to shrink tree renders and layer them to simulate the look of fur. That is interesting. Seath? Seath. I don't think we'll actually get to Seath, but we'll head in that direction. Low giant boar. Goodbye, giant boar. Just kidding, he's still chasing me. Hello again, giant boar. Whoa! So what did I say we need? Like, two more white chunks? Who are you? Who are you? He's not doing the chant. He didn't do the chant. The who are you chant. I think it's these guys that do that. Got off work at 19 a.m. 19 a.m.? 9.15 a.m.? 19 a.m. How long is your shift? You working overnight or do you just work like a super long shift? Oh, I made it by him. Nice. Out of the way. Oh, I don't know. Hitting that might have been a mistake. No, we're good. Imagine this song, but like way more orchestral. Just see, do something. Come on. You have to walk in, like, you know, take 10 steps or whatever. Okay, no curse again. That's the last thing I want. <sighs> Convince the Twinkling Tiny to become white chunks. I wish it was that easy. Tiny little shift that starts at 4.30 in the morning or 4.30 in the afternoon? Because 4.30 in the afternoon to 9.15 at night is not a tiny little shift. Or whatever, 9.15 in the morning. Sorry, I'm like super exhausted today. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can tell. It's probably why this run's been so bad. I'm very out of it. Coffee and two white chunks. I actually don't drink coffee, believe it or not. Never, never became a coffee drinker. Can I jump over this thing? Well, not if I can't run. Okay, no, this is fine. I'll get spit out on the other side. Nice. Walking with a hammer? I don't see how that helps. <laughs> that just sounds painful. You never see them attack, really? It's funny, they actually don't attack you in randomizers. Their AI is just, like, super broken. Rip. It's weird to me how this game auto adjusts the UI for keyboard and mouse and controller, but Elden Ring doesn't. Really? You have to actually change it? No, it does. I, yeah, I mean, I know it does in this game, because every time I tab out, I see the keyboard prompts, but that is interesting. What about the original? Like, maybe there's a Q-Lock thing. Maybe they added that in. I wish some games put some respect on my Sony layout. Sam, I'm, I'm using a PS5 controller right now, and I got Xbox inputs. And, like, I've used Xbox controllers for long enough to know what all the inputs are, but, like, still. 
Oh, you don't expect people to switch to and from controller? That's true. Ooh, that was close. Speaking of the original, I went back and played the OG PS3 and DS1. That must be uh, quite a time. <laughs> getting to Blight Town or getting to Isolith. Isolith is so bright. I'm gonna die. I'm alive. No, I'm dead. Drop to 8 FPS in New Londo? Jeez. I just want to get to this bonfire. This actually might suck for Seath, because magic damage. Both our PS3s and my dad's have GPU degradation. Get some fancy stripey textures when you don't expect them. <laughs> it's gotta be a, a trip. PS5 controls are uncomfortable, or they don't work as intended or something. Uh, I don't know, I don't mind it. They're stick drift though. They get stick drift pretty easily. Arms are kind of long and sharp. Yeah, they kind of are. Uh, hello. You you better move. Nah, we're fine. Run! Oh, do they both on here now? Dude, what is this? It's a conspiracy. I don't know what the conspiracy is, but it is one. 